Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Techtopia. Today I'm going to show you how to create an Adobe style icon, or uh, yeah, an Adobe style icon for uh, whatever you want really because uh, ever since I changed my uh, profile icon or avatar or whatever to this, uh, I got a few requests asking how I could create an icon like this with Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks. Um, I don't have Adobe Fireworks, but I can show you how to do it with Photoshop. So, uh, here's what I created, uh, but you can use whatever you want. That TT obviously stands for Techtopia, and I'll walk you through each step. So, here's Photoshop, and we're just going to create a new document. Go to File, New. For file size, uh, for the width, have it at 111, and for the height, have it at 111. So, 111 by 111 in pixels, and have the resolution at 4000, and then hit OK. Now, uh, here's our new canvas. You gotta make it uh, fairly big because you have to add <clears throat> text onto it. And uh, the text uh, is pretty big for such a small canvas. So, anyways, uh, let's unlock this layer. Right now it is a background layer. Simply double click the background layer and hit OK. And now it is just a plain layer. Now if we go over here to Layer at the top and go to Layer Style, uh, Gradient Overlay. Here we go. This dialog box should pop up. Uh, Okay, here we go. If we go to this uh, little angle thing and we type up in here 120, the gradient angle will change and it will look something like this. Now let's change the colors. Um, in uh, the one I uploaded to YouTube is uh, a reddish color scheme, so uh, I guess I should do that. But actually, no, I'm going to change the color just for some variety. So to change the color, double click this gradient. Uh, Right here, it's the only image on the dialog box. It's just click to edit the gradient right here. And here is a new dialog box. Now, uh, this is a little complicating, so uh, pay attention. There is the, Here's the gradient. There will be two points, one at the far left, one at the far right. What we're going to do is double click the one on the far left and change the color to whatever you want. And this color is going to be the darkest version. Let's say I want a bluish color scheme. I'm going to go over here and make a darkish blue and hit OK then I'm gonna go over here on my far right one and make a lighter blue but still on the dark side and uh, there we go as you can see in the little canvas we got here uh, I basically created the general color I can also move these nodes uh, or points or whatever you want to call them around so that I get whatever kind of design I'm looking for Generally, what you want is uh, a bit of whitish in the top left corner. As you can see here, it's a dark red at the bottom right, and it gradually turns to white, and that's what we're looking for. But again, it's all personal preference, so you can do whatever you want. I'm satisfied with these results, so I'm going to move on. So once you get something that you're happy with, hit OK. And now we can start adding the text, which is generally two letters. I'm going to go to my text tool, and the font I think in personal preference works the best is just plain Arial. Have it at the smallest font size that you can get, and then just make uh, your thing and call it whatever you want. Uh, my would be a capital T for Techtopia, and here's where I gotta make the canvas a bit bigger. And then just position it over top of your uh, canvas there, and then now we can add some layer styles to our letter to make it look a bit better. First of all, if we go to add a layer style, which is this little FX icon down here, or we can go to layer, new uh, layer style, la layer style, then we can go to bevel and emboss, this pops up, change the depth to 1% and hit OK. Gives it a little 3D look, a very, very subtle 3D look, but it still looks pretty good. And we're going to do the same thing, go to layer, layer style, drop shadow, and we're going to change this drop shadow to 15% and hit OK and there we go now if we uh, select our T layer our text layer whatever we just made the little letter T then we hit command or control T command T if you're on a Mac control T if you're on Windows and then uh, it pops up our transformation controls and with our arrow keys we can resize it or position it to wherever we want so I'm thinking right here do's about good then uh, there we go so now let's uh, create one more letter and then we're done basically let's uh, hit our text tool again. I'm doing the exact same thing here. Make a capital T, move it onto our canvas, uh, add some layer styles to it to make it look a bit better. 
Again, the drop shadow is 15%, and our bevel and emboss is at 1%, and that's the only layer styles I have. And then uh, for the second T, because it's uh, considered the lower case T, what I'm going to do is just scale it down a bit. It's the same method as we did before. Just hit Command or Control T, and then uh, just resize it a bit to, so it fits your preferences. Okay, this looks pretty good. I'm just going to move it a bit with my arrow keys. Okay, there we go. I just finished, basically. Obviously, you're going to put more time and effort into it, but that's the basic overall product. Now, once we're done, all we got to do is go to File, Save As. You can call it whatever you want. Under Format, don't have it at Photoshop. Put it at either JPEG or PNG. I'd recommend having it at PNG. Hit Save and hit OK. And then you can now upload it to YouTube where you'll ha now have a new Adobe style icon as your profile avatar. It looks really good and professional and I really like it. So anyways, thanks for watching this Techtopia tutorial. Hope it works out for you. Have fun and see you guys later.